I was to a friend the other day about that Vegas weather, and they were telling me how hot it is, John, and it's been not as hot, but we've had our fair share of heat as well. Good morning. Yeah, no, we've had our hot days for sure. July in particular, looking back, was a hot one. August has had its ups and downs, so you've had a little bits of relief in there, like you saw this past weekend. Today is set to be the hottest day of this week's forecast, and tomorrow, not going to be far behind. So get ready for a scorcher this afternoon. Nice, bright Koi Tower this morning, and not a lot of a sea breeze through the Golden Gate. Look at how calm it is in downtown San Francisco at this moment. We are looking at visibility being affected by the coastline as we do see a pretty hefty blanket of fog right out there along the coast this morning. Aside from that, though, we are doing pretty good as far as visibility goes. Now, temperatures to start the morning are nice and cool. This afternoon, though, we are going to be heating up, so enjoy these 50s and 60s while we got them. Later on today, we're really going to feel the impact of a high pressure ridge that at this point is well built up across the region. That high pressure is in place and will be staying with us for a little bit. We are going to see that loading up here in a second. My graphics are just being a little bit slow right now. So you're getting a longer look at temperatures. Um, Pittsburgh at 69. There we go. The high pressure ridge building in currently. And what we've got this afternoon as part of that is going to be that hottest day of the forecast. Doesn't last though, low pressure dives right in later on and this actually brings us a little bit of relief come the weekend. So some good news there. Futurecast not showing much except for the fog this morning, burning off at the coastline. We will see some sunshine out that direction. All in all, just a hot and sunny one. Temperatures in the 60s to 70s in the city, very similar to yesterday. Coastal areas not changing all that much. It really is our inland areas where you're just feeling that subtle bump up in temperatures a few degrees. San Carlos through Redwood City at 90 today. South Bay temperatures in the low 90s as well. Morgan Hill at 97 while San Jose at 92. Fremont right at 90 degrees. 90s as well for the inland East Bay. While solid 80s now along the East Bay shoreline from Oakland down through Fremont. Walnut Creek, Concord, Danville getting close to triple digits at 98. No one's quite getting there today, though, just shy of it, which is, hey, okay with all of us. I don't think that's a number that we shoot for all that often. Tomorrow is going to be a little bit cooler, but still on the hot side. We truly find relief come the weekend. That's when daytime highs will settle back into the 70s to 80s at the warmest. Now for the roads, things are pretty